Okay, welcome to the sixth lesson on phrasal verbs. Um, today's lesson is about crime, phrasal verbs connected with crime. Um, let's start with cover something up. Uh, this is when a crime takes place and then often because of political pressure or perhaps, um, perhaps it could be the police themselves, the crime is covered up. It means it's hidden. Um, it's not revealed. Uh, so perhaps if um, a politician has done something very bad, uh, they often do, uh, they will try to conceal their crime. It, perhaps they've been stealing money from, um, perhaps they've been claiming too much money in expenses. There was a big scandal where some of the MPs had been charging the taxpayer for lots of their expenses. Um, this was covered up. They tried to hide their crime. They didn't reveal it to everybody. Okay, so just hide, really, for cover up, hide a, hide a crime. Make something up. Uh, this, you should know by now, because it came up. This phrasal verb, came up, appeared. Yeah, this phrasal verb came up in one of the previous lessons. Um, I can't remember which one. News, probably, because journalists make up lots of um, different stories. Um, so, it's a crime... Well, it's not a crime. It's not a crime to make things up. Children often make things up when you uh, when you talk to them. Um, but it means lie. It it could it means lie in the sense of create a story, invent a story. Okay. Um, make something up. Um, get away with something. It means escape unpunished. Uh, so we use this like an idiom when we talk about a naughty child and we say his mother lets him get away with murder. It means, actually, he doesn't kill anybody, but he does lots of bad things and his mum doesn't punish him in any way. Maybe not physical punishment, uh, but she doesn't punish him at all. Um, so, the child gets away with murder. And it's just an idiom, um, but you can use it realistically as well and say he, he committed five bank robberies and got away with it. He got away with it. Nobody caught him. He didn't serve. He, he didn't get sent down by a judge. He didn't go to prison. Um, he got away with it. Um, get out of. You could get out of prison, firstly, and that's why I've got two, a little number two here, because there are two meanings at least. Um, you can get out of prison, um, so it can just mean escape in that sense. Um, this would mean escape unpunished escape unpunished. But there is a second way we use get out of. We use get out of also for um, avoid a responsibility. And okay, it's not a crime to avoid a responsibility. It may be uh, not very good. But hey, here is how we would use it. Perhaps um, uh, a student does so well in the lesson I let him get out of doing homework. Um, or perhaps uh, there's um, something that you must do at work which is not very nice, a certain duty. And so you decide to be sick on that day to get out of doing it. Get out of doing it. Okay? Um, doing because gerund after preposition. Remember that. Any verbs after these will be gerunds. Okay, put someone away or send someone down, both mean send to prison. Both of them mean send to prison. Um, so you can say the judge put him away for 10 years. The judge sent him down for 10 years. But we often use both of these in passive. Yeah, both of them are very often used in passive. He was put away for five years. He was sent down for 10 years. Okay, so this is always going to prison and very often it tells you how long for as well. Next one, inform on someone or grasp someone up. They are the same. And even down here, I don't know if you can see because of the camera, but I've written down here, tell on someone. And tell on someone is the same as inform on someone and grasp on someone, or grasp someone up. Grasp on someone? You could even say grasp on someone. They do sometimes. Um, Okay, so both of these mean, it's like stuchat. It's like when you uh, go to the police and you inform on your friend, maybe, because you found out that they're a thief. 
Um, I hope you don't, because it's not necessarily very good to inform on your friend. But, um, yeah, it's when you tell the police, when you tip the police off about a crime uh, which has been committed by someone who you know. Now, tell on is the same thing, but it's for schools. It's for school children. If the school child goes to the teacher and tells on his friend, he says, teacher, teacher, my friend was um, throwing bits of paper around the classroom, something like that. He tells the teacher, he tells on his friend. So tell on your friend or inform on your friend or grass your friend up. Not very nice things to do, really. Um, tip someone off, tip the teacher off. Don't usually say that. It's usually with police. It is usually with crime. The police are usually tipped off. You tip them off if you find out that a crime will happen in the future. You tip them off. You warn them about a crime. So this is a warning of some description. It's warning the police about a crime. It's tipping them off early. Abide by the law. And it's nearly always used with the words the law. Uh, it means obey. Obey. Obey the law. So I hope you all abide by the law. Um, let someone off, it means uh, not punish someone who is guilty of a crime. Not punish the guilty, the guilty party. So maybe someone has stolen something but he's very young and the judge decides to let him off. He doesn't want to put him away or send him down. He just wants to let him off. Um, because he's still young and it's his first offence, perhaps it's his first crime. Okay, do away with. I've put a two here because firstly it means get rid of. If you do away with something, you get rid of it. Um, but very often with crime, this can be used like murder. Murder somebody. You can do away with someone and if, that, if you do away with someone, it means you murder them, you kill them. Um, but you can also do away with the corpse uh, in order to hide the body. Um, so it can mean get rid of and it can mean murder. Okay, set someone up. It means to put someone, to make it look like someone is a cr criminal when they're not a criminal. So if you have some, uh, well really you would have to have a bent policeman that means a policeman who doesn't follow, who doesn't abide by the law. He doesn't obey. Um, and he wants to find you guilty of a crime or he wants to set you up for a crime. He puts perhaps um, something, a weapon, a gun in your pocket when you're not looking and then says, oh, we found the gun. So uh, you, do you have a license for this gun? No, you don't have permission. OK, uh, th then they can put you into the cells. So they set you up. Um, set someone up means make it look like someone is guilty of a crime. Um, OK, hold someone up or hold something up. It means uh, when there's a robbery, just to rob someone or to rob a bank. That's all. Rob someone or rob a bank. OK, um, beat someone up just means to cause physical pain by hitting someone, kicking them. Um, so I would say punching and kicking. Remember, punch is with your hands, kick is with your legs. That's really what beating up someone is. But you could beat them up with a weapon as well, with a bat or something like that. Make away with is the same as run away with. Exactly the same. So the thieves, I, and we just often use this with crime, with thieves especially. The thieves made away with £300,000 worth of expensive paintings um, or the um, any other crime really where the kidnappers, the kidnappers made away with the uh, with their hostage or with their um, or with their weapons really it's whatever they ran away with whatever they have with them at the time okay so please if you have any questions about these words uh, put them under the video I'll answer your questions and um, I hope you subscribe and I hope you see, I see you all soon for the next lesson Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Please subscribe if you've enjoyed this lesson and would like to receive more over the next few weeks. Uh, here are some videos on phrasal verbs, auxiliary verbs, tenses, and verb forms as well, like gerunds and two plus infinitive. Um, please watch them and try the quizzes below the videos. 
and uh, I hope that you improve.